Okay, in this video, we're going to go ahead and configure the Docker file for a layered build. I'm going to collapse that down. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another folder called Docker. And this will come into play later on in this course where we'll be using a build tool with Maven to build Docker. So I'm just going to make that uh, Docker and we'll come in and add in a Docker file. Go ahead and add this to get and and normally you wouldn't have two different folders for docker you'd only have one docker file but for the purposes of the course i want you to be able to compare and contrast between having a, a slim regular traditional docker file and then also the layered docker file so now we are actually building the layered docker file and what i want to do is i want to come in and we this is going to be a multi-stage build meaning that we will have uh two docker images start up so one will build and we're going to be using that to run a command to uh, extract out the layers and then the second one is going to be the actual docker file that we're using for our image and we'll take the layers from the first one and copy those over so let's take a little closer look as to what we're doing here again we just need that and we are going to call this as a builder so that is we're using this as a a builder image Again, work dirt is going to be application is just fine. And here I'm going to use the add command. Add and copy are very similar. And here I'm going to say target. We're going to get to the uh, directory a little bit different. And again, we want to take that jar file. And that's going to be KBE. So that is going to add that in. And here, what we want to do is say run Java minus D jar mode equals tools. And oh, I need to do dot slash there. And if I mistyped something, we're going to copy it over. So we're going to say minus jar so this is a java command we are saying use the layer tools to extract out the layers so that's all we want from this first builder so inside this image it's going to start up as a container and it's going to take in it will add in that target the jar file and we are using the layer tools to extract out those layers now we're going to say from open jdk we'll use the same one jre slim and we can use application, it's just fine. And now we're gonna say copy. And actually I'm gonna copy this over from my working notes. It's gonna speed up. I don't think you guys wanna see me type all this out. So I'm gonna cut and paste this in. So now we can see that we're saying copy from builder. So that's doing a reference to this image, we're saying from builder, from the directory application, dependencies, and we're going to bring those into our application. So this here is the first container that we're starting up, and then this is the uh, image that we are building. And note here that we have the four layers that we are copying. So we have dependencies, spring bootloader, snapshot dependencies, which is typically going to be empty, then the application, and then the entry point. And the entry point, now we are going to use the spring boot loader, the jar launcher. So. Uh, slightly different. That's what uh, allows all the class paths and stuff to get reassembled in this. And before we uh, actually try to build this, remember uh, here we added in that Maven configuration to do the layers. We want to do a clean on our project. Now we can say go ahead and do a package step. And that'll package things up with the new layers being built. And while that's building, we want to do this. So I'm giving you that Docker command and now it's not Docker base, it's just gonna be Docker. And so it's the same command. So I'm gonna copy that command and we'll take that into terminal. So now rather than Docker base, we are going Docker, Docker file, and we'll tag that to KBE rest again. 
and you can see that we did have everything built properly. And you, you can see here that we are doing the uh, multiple stages of the copy and then writing the image. And you can see that's coming up cache. That's because I, I ran up uh, previously in my, my testing. If anything changed, uh, it would have changed there. Uh, just double checking everything. And now if we do Docker PS, you can see that I still just have Postgres running. And let's do a, a inspect on this. We can do Docker history. And that'll be KBE rest. That is our tag. And here, what you can see, this is a history of that image. And these lines down here, that, that is all from the base image. So that is from the uh, JRE image. So you can see that that's got a number of layers. Now we have a work of application. And here you can see the actual dependency. So our dependencies, so that uh, 41 meg, that's a, a good chunk of uh, data. That is all our, uh, that's the fat jar dependency. So all the various jars. And that's actually pretty slim for a Spring Boot project. So as you get into larger projects and having more complex applications, that can grow significantly. And then our, our Spring Boot Loader, that is pretty light snapshots. And then there's our application. You can see that's only 90 kilobytes. So if we were deploying this, running multiple versions of our application, deploying that over and over and over, uh, rather than having all this uh, get copied into a single image, now, these files here are gonna be staying the same. They'll get reused. So if I have four applications running on the JRE, these are all gonna get reused automatically because we're using that JRE image. If we have the exact same dependencies, these would get reused and then only this one is gonna be changing. So very, very important. This, um, if you start living with Docker on machines, uh, you do realize that uh, if you are tight on disk space, it can really <laughs> chew up a lot of disk space. And this is a way to really make your uh, disk utilization by Docker a lot more efficient. So this is going to be a lot more efficient for building and deploying applications in either a test or some type of production deployment environment. So the layers that the Spring Boot team came up with, it's a pretty clever way of saving yourself a lot of disk space and a lot of ongoing maintenance and having to go back and, and clean up the old layers that you may have on your system.